Although water heaters can differ from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address how gas water heaters work, as well as potential problems you may encounter. Gas water heaters use a burner to warm the water in the tank. When a designated water temperature is reached, the burner will cycle off. The available temperature settings usually range from a vacation mode, which will rarely cycle the burner on, up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Most manufacturers recommend that the temperature be set no higher than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. How the water heater operates and its efficiency is determined by three factors, the tank, combustion, and airflow. Both the incoming cold water pipe and the outgoing hot water pipe connect to galvanized steel pipes on the tank. Since many homes have copper plumbing, a dielectric union is needed to connect the two types of piping. Without this union, the pipes can deteriorate due to electrolytic corrosion, a process that occurs when water flows across two dissimilar metals. The incoming cold water pipe attaches to the dip tube in the water heater. The dip tube distributes the incoming water to the bottom of the tank to ensure that all of the water is heated thoroughly. If the tube deteriorates and breaks, the incoming water will stay near the top of the tank where it won't heat properly. Although the interior of the water tank is metal, it's coated with enamel, which prevents salt, chemicals, and other minerals in the water from attacking the metal. To further protect the tank and dip tube, an anode rod is used to attract corrosive minerals. Some water sources, such as well water, may attack the anode rod, which can result in a strong sulfur smell. However, removing the rod is not recommended, since the corrosive minerals it attracts can quickly deteriorate the tank and cause it to fail. A water heater will normally have a drain valve at the bottom of the tank, as well as a temperature and pressure relief valve near the top. Over time, mineral deposits collect in the tank, which can produce a loud popping or knocking sound when the water is being heated. To avoid deposit buildup, the drain valve should be opened and the water flushed out once every few years. If the water temperature or pressure increases above proper operating levels, the temperature and pressure relief valve will open to stabilize the system. If at any time one of the valves begins to leak, then the valve has failed and will need to be replaced. A discharge tube must be installed on the pressure relief valve and positioned six inches from the floor to prevent scalding water from spraying out of the tank and causing injury. If the tank develops a leak, the cold water supply should be shut off immediately. A slow drip can quickly turn into a steady stream. Installing a drain pan under the water heater that is connected to a floor drain is a great way to avoid damage to your home. Many manufacturers suggest that insulation be installed on both the incoming and outgoing pipes to help prevent heat loss. If your home is located in an area that is susceptible to earthquakes, then flexible water and gas supply lines along with a mounting strap will be required when installing a water heater. Gas water heaters will ignite the burner using either a pilot or a hot surface ignition system. On water heaters using a pilot, the pilot and burner are regulated by a thermostatically controlled gas valve. Most pilot systems will use either a thermocouple or thermopile to monitor the pilot. If the pilot goes out, the thermocouple or thermopile will prevent the gas valve from opening. When the valve detects a decrease in water temperature, it opens, allowing the pilot to light the burner and the water to be heated. Models with a thermopile will also incorporate a limit thermostat to prevent the gas valve from opening if the burner or surrounding area gets too hot. If the pilot goes out, it will need to be relit following manufacturer's instructions. Newer model water heaters have a pilot setting on the gas valve and a spark electrode to light the pilot. Older models will have the pilot setting, but you will need to manually light the pilot with a long match or lighter. A hot surface ignition system also uses a thermostatically controlled gas valve along with a control board. In addition, a power vent blower fan will exhaust the fumes generated by this system to the outside of the home. 
When the gas valve detects a decrease in water temperature, the control board begins a timed ignition sequence by sending 120 volts of alternating current to the draft inducer fan motor. The fan draws air into the burner, which may be the air surrounding the water heater or fresh outside air supplied by a pipe. Once the inducer motor reaches its maximum speed, a vacuum switch closes. Once the switch is closed, the control board sends 120 volts to the hot surface igniter. Next, the control board energizes a solenoid on the gas valve, which allows gas to flow into the burner and be lit by the igniter. Finally, a flame sensor is used to monitor the burner flame to ensure it is lit while gas is flowing through the valve. If the ignition sequence stalls, the most likely cause is a faulty igniter. The fan will run, the vacuum switch will close, but the igniter will not glow. You can test the igniter for continuity to determine if there is a continuous electrical path present. If there's no continuity, the igniter has failed and will need to be replaced. Water heaters with gas burners need to exhaust fumes containing carbon monoxide to the outside of the home. The exhaust goes through a backdraft insert and flue. The backdraft insert prevents air from entering the top of the water heater and improves heat distribution in the tank. The flue allows the fumes to be exhausted to the outside of the home. If the flue deteriorates or is damaged, carbon monoxide can contaminate the air. To help keep you safe, a carbon monoxide detector should be installed near the bedrooms of your home and its batteries checked regularly. If an exhaust leak is detected, the gas should be shut off immediately. If the water heater is located in a utility closet or cramped storage area, the burner may not have enough available air to function properly. Closet doors can be louvered or space left at the bottom of the door to increase airflow. Newer models will have a ring filter at the bottom of the heater to prevent dust and debris from entering the burner area. If the ring filter becomes clogged, airflow to the burner will again be reduced. Since gas water heaters use an open flame, combustible materials such as paint should not be stored close by. Some newer models use a spark arrestor to help prevent accidental combustion. A power vent system may require the exhaust vent to be sloped to drain condensation that accumulates in the pipe. In addition, a drain hose should be installed on the system if a drain port is available. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your water heater. Enter the water heater's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.